The one thing I was scared of is giving birth. That that was I was terrified. But she told me, uh, the minute you see your baby, you're gonna forget everything. I thought it she was joking. She didn't. I I forgot everything. My father. The whole thing I've been through, I just forgot everything. I was amazed. It was just that came out of me. It was it was it was weird, but I, I was happy. I mean, it was my my baby, and it was I was I was happy. My name is Daniel Vipila. I'm 19 years old and I come from Congo. At first when I, I found out I was pregnant, I thought I was just being paranoid because I'm always paranoid. On the box it says, uh, wait for five minutes. It didn't take five minutes. It took five seconds to tell me I was pregnant. Uh, I thought it was a joke. I was, I was terrified. I wanted an abortion. Finally, I called my mom and I told her. She said, keep it and I'm going to take it and we're going to find a way, but just don't have an abortion. So I was kind of happy because I was kind of growing into it and <laughs> I kind of like having a baby. But I didn't tell my dad. My parents were divorced and I didn't know how, what, when and where I was going to do it. I was praying, I was, I was really, really stressed out, started losing weight, and stopped eating. And um, then I called my dad, and Sorry. I asked him to, if I could, give him and still go to school. He didn't want that. He said it's either you keep and you come back or you have an abortion and um, you continue with school. And I said, fine, I'm just going to do it. So I went there. I, was, I wasn't very comfortable. I did the sonogram, but when I came out, I just saw this woman and she came to me and she's like, are you pregnant? And she said, yes. And then she gave me a picture of the Virgin Mary and she said, she doesn't want you to get an abortion. I said, I don't have a choice. She said, come, I can show you people who can help you. So that's how I decided not to have the abortion. My dad was furious. He called me and he said, um, you're not my daughter anymore. I don't know you. You can do whatever you want with your life. He said, uh, I destroyed his family and I hope I could live with myself. When I met Ingrid, she so she talked to me about this project, Gabriel, and she would give me angels. I met Bill first. He came to pick me up to bring me to a gems class, and that's how I met him. And then I think a month later, Bill came to pick me up with Trisha, and we went to the restaurant, and that's how I met her. They were kind of my substitute parents. You know? I'm here alone. I don't have anybody to meet them and just to have them um, take care of me. It was it was nice for a change. Trisha actually she brought me to the hospital the day I the day Gabriel was born. So I don't know if I hadn't met that woman in front of the clinic. I wouldn't I wouldn't be here, and I'm I'm very grateful. My grandma, she came to take him, and now he's in Congo, and uh, I miss him, but I mean, even though it's a painful story, yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world, because I love my baby to death.